Just a quick update. Uh, China has threatened the Hong Kong protesters. They said, quote, the end is coming for those who antagonize China. Oh. Oh, well, that's... That's good. Uh, by the way, there was a response to uh, Deborah Messing uh, and uh, the guy who played uh, Will, who is so irrelevant, I don't know his name. Um, a, a response came from the guy who played Jay Peterman, John O'Hurley. I love John O'Hurley. He was the guy who played uh, Jay Peterman in uh, on Seinfeld. Um, you remember him? And Elaine used to work for him. He said... Um, Conservatives tend to be lone wolves. Uh, there's more diversity in the land of beautiful people than you might think, he said. I think they, the, um, the left has the bully pulpit right now uh, to say it out loud. It doesn't permeate Hollywood to the degree that you think it is. I think there's a nature among liberal thinkers to form packs or to form groups, whereas the conservative mind is basically an individual and they're tougher to find. I think that's true. I think... We are a product of, and you can assign negativity to this, but we're a product of the me uh, side of the equation. The left is the we, and there's, there's, there's grace and there's prosperity when that is balanced. When everybody is me, 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 we forget about too many people. When everyone is we, 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 we generally tend to gas people that we don't agree with. So we need to think about we're all in this together, the we part, in a balanced way, and it's the power of the individual that makes the difference. That's, that's the American way. And I know you don't dare say that anymore, but that's the American way. Uh, did well, you want to hear he this, uh, do you want this video here, Glenn? Oh, uh, yeah, do you have it? Audio, we do. It's uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, John O'Hurley on uh, Fox News. I'm embarrassed for both of them. And I'll say this because I know them both, and I've worked with Deborah before. They're both smart people. They do wonderful work. But they're pushing a case that falls apart from the sheer weight of its lunacy. As though the Hollywood community needs to be purged of this social and intellectual hygiene problem called conservative thinking. And it just, it, it, it falls, it underscores the fact that... Um, we aren't receptive to diversity of thought, which is the exact opposite of what you feel the liberal, the liberal way would be. Uh, and I find that obscene. Artistic expression really is the act of the infinite possibility. All viewpoints must be observed and respected. So at the same time we are supporting free thinking, we also have to support free receptors. Mm -hmm. People that will allow other ideas to infect them. Some of the best conversations I ever had on the Seinfeld set were with Michael Richards, who thinks totally differently than I do. But I couldn't wait to present him with an issue or something because I was always interested in his perspective on it, and I was always fascinated. My dearest friend Brian Cranston, another liberal thinker, certainly opposite to me, he and I can sit for hours, hours discussing an idea. And I love that. I cherish that. Yeah. Not with the premise of trying to convince each other. That is what we have lost. In our certitude, we are certain, to quote my last book, we are certain that the other side has nothing of value to teach us. So we don't have to listen to them. All we have to do is convince them on how wrong they are. And that's the problem. We are all filled with moral certitude. Well, you know, there's, there's, uh, it's an amazing thing. I've, I've actually had uh, people on the left who have had an awakening and said, I can't believe it. The, the people who have been the most kind and compassionate have been the conservatives. And I expected them to run me out on a rail. And... No, real conservatives, real conservatives do not run people out on a rail. If you believe in the Constitution, we want to have a conversation. But we also want to be able to uh, have a right or wrong. We want to be able to come up with a solution that is somewhat verifiable, you know, as verifiable as it can be. We want, if you show me scientific proof 
and you show me something that I can run a thousand tests on and it continues to come that way, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to say yes. I, I just read something about the Farmer's Almanac. And they're saying that the Farmer's Almanac is calling for a really, really tough winter. But in that, a scientist was quoted in saying, we have a hard time trying to figure out what the weather is going to be in the next day, let alone a year from now. But you can tell me what the climate is going to be a hundred years from now? Do you see any irony in that? Do you see see maybe that... Maybe you should be a little less certain about what you're certain of.